Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 7 in this series entitled Navigation and Web Services for Windows Phone 8 App Development using C Sharp. In this tutorial, we will discuss two services from Windows Phone 8, the Navigation Service and the Web Service. The Navigation Service is a navigation from one page to another, while the Web Service is a navigation to the web. To apply Navigation Service, we're going to create a Windows Phone 8 app and place it in CWP8. In the main page, we're going to place a hyperlink button. Then we will add a new page and add a hyperlink button control to it too. Then we will create a navigation service for both pages using their buttons. Let's create our project. Windows Phone, Windows App. This is app 7 underscore 1. Click OK. Click OK. Let's first change the title of our app. There. Let's make it app 7 underscore 1. And let's also change the name of the page in page. Now we will click the grid, the content panel, and we will add here a hyperlink button. There, double click. Let's go to the content panel. There's our hyperlink button. Just put it in the middle. We'll change the content of our hyperlink to navigate to page 2. This page has not yet been uh, created and we'll put the name to our hyperlink button H button win. Now we will create an event for our button so double click it. There is our event HPTN1 underscore click. So from here we can type we can call the navigation service there dot navigate is the method and we'll create or we will call a new URI. It is relative, so we'll start with a slash. We'll call it page2.saml, but we have not yet uh, created this one. So we'll create it late, later. And the URI kind is that it is relative. Okay, let's go back to our main page. Now we'll create the second page. To do that, you go to the Solution Explorer, right-click your solution, and then select Add, New Item. Select Windows Phone Portrait Page. This name, make it page2.saml. This is already our second page. Add. So we'll do the same in our title panel. We'll change this to up 7 underscore 1 and our page name to page 2. Okay. The same thing inside the grid, we're going to add a hyperlink button. So there, hyperlink button, double click. There is our hyperlink button. This time, we'll change its content to simply go back and we'll name it the same each button one but of course this button is different from the button in the main page now notice in the solution explorer that we now do have two saml files the first is the main page and the second is the page to that saml and if we expand them both have this code behind for C sharp so let's double click this uh, button for page 2 there we'll call again the service navigation service there and the method will simply be to go back there go back okay that's it. Let's try to run it in our emulator. Let's go back to the main page. Okay, so this is our uh, application. If you click the hyperlink button, we will go to page 2. And if you click the hyperlink button in page 2 to go back, we will go back to the main page. 
Let's continue working on our app by passing value from main page to page 2. In main page, we're going to add a text box and a button. We will create a click event for the button to pass a value from the text box. In page 2, we're going to add a text block and write a code that will override the method on navigated to to place the passed value in the text block. Okay, so we're now in the main page that SAML. We'll click uh, the content panel and we're going to add a text box and a button. Okay, this is our text box. We're just going to move it down. And there's our button. We're going to move it down also. This text box, we're going to name it to TBX1 and we will delete the text box value from its text property. Our button, we're going to name it to BTN1 and we'll change the content to submit. Now we will create the event uh, for this button, the click event for this button. So double click it. It's not going to be that uh, different from our first code, so I'll just copy it. And the only difference right now is that they're going to be a query string that msg equal and that will be the content of text box one dot text that's it now we can go to page two that saml the same we're going to add a text block in our content panel there there is uh, sorry there is our text block There is our text block. Okay, we're going to name it TBK1. Okay. So we're going to create an event. Actually, it's a method. So just simply uh, click uh, the code behind. And we're going to add a method here. We're going to override actually a method on navigated to. So it's protected. Override. We're not going to return anything so it's going to be void and the name of that is on navigated to this one okay just provided to us the first line we're going to declare uh, a message variable of type string we'll initialize it to nothing and then here's the logic if navigation context that query string that try get value This message from the variable from our query, we will add that to our message variable. So this text box, uh, text block one dot text, will be equal to our message. Okay, so let's try to run it in our emulator. So uh, remember this uh, hyperlink button. If you click it, we'll simply go to the page, the second page, then go back. This time, we're going to pass a value. And we'll click the button. Notice that it was passed to the text block. All we did so far is to apply a navigation service. This time, we're going to show a simple web service called Web Browser. So we're going to create a second app and we'll place that in WP8. In the main page, we're going to place a text box, a button, and a web browser control. Let the user type a URL in the text box, and upon clicking the button, we will display the website in the web browser. Let's create a new project, file new project. This time it will be app seven underscore two. Click OK, click OK. First click uh, the first line, uh, the phone application page, and change the supported orientation to portrait or landscape. Now let's change our titles to app7 uh, underscore 2 and our page name to main page. Now we will add a text box in our grid. So toolbox, there a text box, and we need also a button, and the last is a web browser. 
there double click so they are all here let's move it down this is our button and this is our text box let's name our text box tbx1 let's delete this value in its text property uh, let's go to the layout for its alignment let's make it stretch okay now for the button we will do the same for horizontal make it stretch we'll name it button one and we'll change the content to go okay i think we are not going to put this margins on our so okay let's remove this margin zero okay next is our explorer our web browser so let's also change the layout horizontal alignment stretch vertical alignment stretch and we're going to name it wb1 okay so we're all done now we have to create the event for our button double click there it will be easy so we're going to call our web browser and the method navigate again it's a new uri and the site will be coming from our text box one text property and this time the uri kind will be absolute if you remember in our navigation service from one page to another we use uh, relative so we're done let's try to run it Okay, let's see, let's go to HTTP colon slash slash www.kfu dot edu dot sa our website and click go. And you may also choose the landscape for this one. Okay, great. We just completed the flying navigation service and web browser. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.